Hi, everybody. It's Rachel Leonard, Editorial Director of the Bridal Council, and it's Countdown to the Collections. And I'm so excited that we are meeting with designer Peter Langner, foremost couture of evening wear and bridal to the truest sense and all made in Italy. How are you, my old friend, Peter Langner? Thank you, Rachel. Thank you so much. Uh, I'm good. I'm good. Uh, very, very happy, very, I have to say, very excited of market that's finally, you know, happening again. Uh, not so happy that it has to be digital, but I prefer obviously meet one-to-one -one in person, but um, it's, you can see there's a different energy. It's going, we are coming back to, you know, coming back to life, it, life is changing, which is, which is good. And we are getting a different pace again. That's great. Oh, and and yeah. I see your beautiful sketches in the background, but let's, let me ask you a few questions. So it's, 30 years in business? No. Um, tell me how you got your start initially in bridal. Look, a very, I mean, like I have to say, I don't want to say stupid, but very incidental. It was a friend of mine. She saw some sketches I did and uh, she loved it. And she asked me, can I make it? You, uh, can you make my wedding gown? And then I make another one and another one and another one. And all of a sudden there was a company. It wasn't really, there was no structure to it or there was no plan, which then in the end became other problems later on because <laughs> you know you don't have a, a plan, okay, I need this, this, and this, and that to create a company where we just grew out of nothing. And then all of a sudden we woke up and said, oh, listen, we actually do have a company doing wedding gowns, bridal gowns and the evening gowns. So what do we do? What do we have to change? But we were already in the process of actually existing. And uh, so that has been a challenge to understand what yes, yes. the business side <laughs> is and needs. Yes, I'm sure, I'm sure. But it's it's such a great story to hear that it was an organic start. I love, I love hearing that. Um, and then you have to eventually get the business part to it. Um, so your, your Milano, uh, uh, your atelier is in Milan. Mm -hmm. And you have artisans, and you all work together, and uh, and you develop techniques. And how does how does that all work? I mean, it's like I, I'm very much I'm a workroom guy. I'm I I'm all the, I'm in my showroom. I'm rarely there. It's very very rare. But usually, I'm always in the workroom. I love I personally love touching fabrics and and uh, changing the optics of fabrics and. I'm as a, actually from a start, I'm a pattern maker, I'm a draper. So, which is really different than from a designer or stylist. So we have, every, and that is the one reason why all our dresses have a very structural engineer and, and architectural touch to it, because I'm creating and I'm draping on the mannequin to create a shape, a volume using one day, one fabric, then change it, make getting fabrics made for us. And so everything is very hands-on, very, you know, touchy that you can touch it. the surface of the fabrics and how it falls or floats. That is very, very important. It's a really our DNA. So you don't really start with a sketch, you start with the fabric and the form. I start, I drape first the dress and then sketch later. Okay, that makes sense. Play, it or play around with it. It um, just you you just feel that there are certain fabrics which allow you to do things which you can't do with another fabric. So I'm listening to the fabric, what it allows me to make, rather than forcing it into a shape. That makes sense. So for that reason as well, every single gown is so individually different because it really it it is born on the, on the mannequin and you just shape it around the body rather than deciding, I want to have a strapless version, a V-neck, a ball gown, a skinny dress in that fabric. Interesting. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. So we're really with working directly with the material. So, so you listen to the material. Yeah, I try um, to. And to, to all out there who's more newer to shopping for a wedding dress, tell us 
explain what a couture made dress means to those who might not understand. I mean, on one side you have, I mean, the couture is really, is not only considering the size of a person, but specifically the proportions. So you, uh, sizing, which means you make something smaller or larger, you make it tighter or slightly wider. But the proportions and the shape and cut of the fabric of the gown, which is already made, is nearly impossible because you can't lengthen the, you know, the bodies, you can't shorten the bodies. This really has to be. So we are doing this all from the beginning. We are creating, when we're doing a couture gown, we are actually making a mannequin on the shape and size of our customer, and then again, drape over that mannequin. So when the customer comes in, it is already in her proportion and shape. And then we see to make it work for that person, rather than after adapting something which is already made, adapting it, shorten it, tighten it a little bit so that it would fit but we are making that the gown is actually from the beginning, it, it is born for her. So there is actually, a, there's a difference when you try on something what is a couture gown, just from the feel when you have it on, that, you know, it's not that you're adjusting the bust cup to, you know, the person. It's we are growing, we're building it exactly to the bust cup, to the, to the bride. So you, you meet, do they go find you through the stores or do you meet with them in person or on Zoom? Most, yeah, I mean, most of, pretty much everything. I mean, today, obviously, you know, the, the uh, this current situation has done a lot of, you know, Zoom calls, Skype, FaceTime uh, to see it because for us, it's very, it's essential to see a customer in the style, in the gown so that we can understand how is her physique? How is what is important for her? Because a, a shape or gown you have for one bride, it is she would like to have a very nice neckline. The other one said, I'm not going to have that cleavage. So uh, we are really focusing on the one to one to one, the customer that she can see is that, okay, this is the right shape for me, but I need, I would like to have this change or that change. So we are doing. Obviously, most of the gowns are sold through ateliers, stores around the world. Um, but then they get in touch with us, send us video clips, send us FaceTimes, uh, images to that we understand before we actually cut the gown to understand who is going to wear the gown, what is important for them, and making then the gown after it's in that reference, rather than making a standard size getting out and then after it is altered later on by somebody else. It sounds like an amazing experience. Um, so where do you get your inspiration from? Look, it's pretty much everything because it is, it, it is my, my seamstress, my, my, all my team is a huge inspiration because they are touching the fabrics as well with me. So they said, oh, why can't we do this? Why can't we change this? Let's try this, let's try the other one. So if you have a group of creative minds and you put all everything together in a big ball, you can get you know, explosions of, of different ideas and changing optics and changing. We have this time, we have, I mean, we've shredded and then we have woven fabric. So we have taken fabric, cut into stripes and then we've woven it back together. Wow. So um, trying to mix different elements. The thing is that if you're doing something for a long time, it, it is very nice because you have a lot of experience. You can get every mistake you have made, you learn from it. Right. But at the same time, you're getting yourself more and more demanding because you have to keep an interest on in it. You have to keep on going and say, okay, this has to be something interesting. You, you cannot do it only because you have sold something before right. or because somebody liked it. So you have to, you're questioning your work more and more and more because you said, I have to be better than what we have before. You have to have been newer. You can't just be the same 
what you've done before. You have to grow, you have to find new, new ideas. And that is something what is becomes obviously more and more difficult because you want to you want to play and you want to be you know good at what you're doing and to show this look okay we have put a lot of energy passion and detail and research in it well you know a, a good artist a good designer you want to keep moving forward and growing and pleasing yourself i mean of course you have to please the customer first but i mean it's it's about growth self self growth it sounds like um tell us about the theme for this coming upcoming season do you have i mean we have um we have, what I are mean, you thinking about it well let's see overall i don't know concept are you allowed to share um, yeah we have uh, yes 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 we have we've done um we've done as a because we as we as uh, our customer is not just italians or america some, we have customers who are really all around the world. And everybody is very particular in their culture, in their needs and what they want. Now, bridal has exploded in designers and different possibilities, different collections which are available. I mean, today you see collections which five years, 10 years ago, you, you, you didn't have any access to it. So you, you have to look for uh for very we're looking for very individual very special looks i think we i want to be a little toolbox of when you're looking for something really unique which you can't find anywhere else or where maybe somebody is not crazy enough to do it and we, we try to do that we try to do something if you want something extremely good you have to try that you have to go to langna you have to see not to make something normal not to make something, excuse me, the word commercial. Right. I really want to be eclectic for a customer who is who really wants something unique and not only pretty. I mean, pretty is for me. Sorry, my expression, but it's a little bit an insult. So it's like, <laughs> oh, this is really cute. To, no, I don't want cute. You are want beautiful. Cute. <laughs> I want just you want to be fabulous. Want to be you know unique, special. Uh, that and because everybody's traveling, everybody is moving around. I mean, you know, we have brides from Hong Kong coming here for fittings, or we have. Last week we had a bride from Seattle. Wow! Came in, do a fitting here, and she's getting married in in Rome uh, uh, next next week. So amazing! It's it's a whole mix in the way with somebody from Dallas, and so it's a whole very, very different scenario than you had, you know, when we started. Um, and, and I want to please, I want to be okay, let's do something really special. So we have very different volumes. We were playing with a lot of materials and very soft Think The trends of bridal is not only aesthetically, let's say on the outside, but there's a trend in the way of how guns are constructed. It's how gowns are used, of, uh, of where the gowns, where the weddings are taking place have changed dramatically in the last, especially in now in the last years. So uh, we wanted to have something what, you know, is, is great for an outdoor wedding, for a garden wedding, a beach wedding, a uh, country or mountain wedding. Uh, at the same time, you know, we have some, we have some jackets, we have some, uh, you know, gowns which you can mix together. We have, uh, uh, we use very, very light chiffon, but then with a the structure underneath so that you actually visually see it as very soft, but then you have to have a structure which holds it open. So there's a whole, uh, always a very architectural thinking behind, behind it. it. This was so interesting um, to get inside your head, Peter Langner, um, to hear all about it. And I want to thank you for joining me today in our conversation. Thank you. And thank you, and thank you everybody. Bye-bye. Thank you.